All right, this arena run shows off an absolutely insane food build. I got early alpaca, which is just such a game changer because you can get level two alpaca and then the level ups just start flying. You get two level twos, you get instant level three. It's just like, yeah, it's super easy to get those levels and it makes the game even more fun. It's quite the advantage. So the actual food build that I was going for, going for all the good things. I've got squirrel, I've got sauropod, I've got seal, I've got cat. So there's two tier 6s, a tier 5, and a tier 4. I do skip the rabbit because most of the time I feel like when you're getting 50-50s, you don't really need the extra health. It can kind of help in the mid game a little bit, but I don't know. In this run, it didn't really seem too necessary. I still don't know if I'm going to upload that video of the 5 rabbits buffing or buying soft ice with the 5 rabbits. I feel like I wanted a better run because like the runs that I've been doing for that are just so disappointing. And I want to get one that also, I should turn the sound effects on for it, because it just makes it that much more satisfying. So one day, one day that'll be uploaded. Or I'll just forget about it and we'll never hear from it again. That's also a possibility. But yeah, so the start of this run, uh, going for level 3 beaver, got a spider pill, which I pretty much think is like always worth it almost, uh, even on turn 4. Just the early tier 3s could be such an advantage. As you can see, I got capybara and I got hatching chick, and both of those are just extremely good. Decided to take a swan, uh, usually helps in these like specific weird arena builds that I'm going for, where I want to roll a bunch or just have more uh, money in general. More money in general is usually a good thing. Anyway, well, I mean, well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, back to the game. Uh, the hatching chick should be enough to win this round, and then Cappy gives plus two, plus one to anything that I roll in the shop. And pretty much like all the shop scaling stuff in this game feel extremely good. So Cappy's good. Uh, Lobster's good. Turkey's okay. It's just like a worse version of lobster. Cans are extremely good. Just a lot of good things. And as you can see, got early squirrel, exactly what I wanted to see. Trying to debate what to sell. Probably, okay, I decided to sell both the level 3 and the Cappy. Get plus 6 health, but those units are probably going to go. The swan can stick around for a while. Uh, and there's the rabbit. Decide, eh, I don't actually want the rabbit. Let's just go for level ups. Uh, giraffe, swan, hatching chick, that kind of stuff. And keep this pill frozen for Blobfish. You probably know this by now. Anyway, uh, so what I've been doing on stream is I've been using the new feature, which is random packs. I don't know uh, how many people know about this since it wasn't like explicitly stated, I feel like, in the update. Or wait, maybe it was, but it's kind of like hidden in there. But yeah, they added an option to randomize the pack that you're creating. So I think this is how they're making the weekly pack. They just randomize a new one every week. And instead of getting a new pack every week, you can get one every single time you click a button. And that's just some free content. So like on stream, just been doing random uh, packs and then doing beer lobbies and going to have some fun with that. It's pretty interesting. If you're interested, you can definitely stop by the stream. It is super low quality. I should mention that. I always, I feel bad bringing it up, but my internet just absolutely sucks. And it's the best available option in the area, apparently. It's so sad. Got double shark on level up here, which is actually somewhat disappointing because now I'm just going to have level one shark for a couple turns. There's uh, probably not going to be a way to level that up. I guess, uh, actually wait, no, that's a complete lie. I have crow and blobfish, so I can definitely get it to level two. But uh, freeze the turtle. It's even better with the shark because it gets a free plus two plus two when you pill this turtle. That's always great. Then I run into this elephant blowfish team, which looks pretty strong. Very much health. That's not how you say that sentence, but a lot of health. Luckily, the hatching chick brings it home. It killed my shark. Kind of an interesting counter to shark. Uh, there's another hatching chick. I'm not sure if I really needed to buy that, because now I don't really have a flex spot, and I have to sell something pretty good here. There's the crow for level 2 shark if I want it. Um, I also do need to go for like level 2 squirrel and stuff in the end. But sometimes you also just need to worry about winning the round. I guess I was really confident in winning the round, so I could probably just take Crow here. Okay, turns out I was not that confident in winning the round, so kind of mixed signals there. Decide to go for level 2 Squirrel, but not level 2 Shark. Level 2 Shark, instant plus 8, plus 8, plus, actually plus 9, plus 9, because it's also the chocolate buff, which is pretty good. Uh, and then the Shark, yeah, I guess didn't actually need to take that, but... Still better is safe than sorry. Don't want to actually lose these runs where you get super good RNG. Because as you will see here, first level 2 shark, why not? Get the extra plus 4, plus 4 now. Don't get to see this too often. Pill something with a level 2 shark. And there's early alpaca. 
So once you get that early alpaca, you just feed it until you get it to level 2, and then things just, you know, the fun train starts going. Level 2 instantly on everything. The only problem with alpaca is that your last unit will not be able to get the alpaca buff, so you'll have like one level 1 on your team, but hopefully you can just find a whole bunch of chocolate. Then I run into this strong summon team, absolutely crazy. White Tiger Turkey is just absolutely going to blow me out. Whale Deer, Anteater, so many spawns are getting plus 6, plus 9. That is an insane team to run into on turn 9. Uh, so deciding, do I want to take this alpaca buff? It doesn't really matter because it's only level 2 and a third, so I don't know if that was actually necessary. But there's level 2 alpaca, and I get another alpaca, which is interesting because it doesn't actually do a lot. Since I'm able to get level 3 just, like, in two, uh, units, then, you know, it's the same with two alpacas. There's early sauropod, instant level 2, love to see it. Could also get instant level 2 octo if I was worried about losing and selling, like, the swan or something like that. And as you can see, also buying the snail, instant level 2, and it gets plus 2, plus 2 to the entire team. So imagine, oh, dude, you get two snails frozen in the shop with alpaca. That's a level 3 snail buff right there. That's plus 5, plus 5 for your entire team. That would be awesome. But uh, did not actually happen. Maybe, maybe another day. Uh, can, so... I'm pretty much uh, gaining gold from this. I'm literally gaining gold from this. Since it only costs one gold and it gives me two back, that is plus one gold, if you can do the math there. I know it's pretty complicated, but I won't insult your intelligence. I'm sure you can do the math yourself, believe it or not. I respect my audience that much. Uh, so there's some weird food items in this pack, just because I wanted to mix it up, I guess. We got chicken leg, we got soft ice, uh, pizza tacos, a whole bunch of food, really. I guess I actually added in all the foods I could for this run. Um, probably, okay, so I passed on a chocolate, which you might, I passed on a couple chocolates, which you might question, but it turns out if I just find one unit in the shop, like right here, it's an instant level two, that's, you know, two chocolates worth right there. So I guess that was my reasoning. I could have also gotten level two, level three squirrel from those two chocolates though. And I might have still had a sauropod trigger left, but now I got two level two sauropods. So the gold that, or uh, the, oh, what a team, a strawberry coconut team. That's pretty unfortunate for me to run into. And now I'm on lethal. And now it's scary because I have five more turns. I was like, oh my God, please don't let me lose. So yeah, I'm going to get four gold back here. So uh, three gold or negative three gold food. Plus when I combine the sauropods, the triggers reset. So now I can buy even more food and get even more money back. Look at this, 17 gold. I believe there was a new update that actually capped the gold at 20, which I don't actually run into at this run, but that is very much a possibility to happen. If I can get this level three squirrel, get a couple more sauropods in there, I could definitely hit that 20 gold cap. Um, apparently I'm not very happy judging by the sporadic mouse movements. Um, yeah, just continue to roll. Finally see something that I actually want. I'll take a seal. It's probably not as good as a cat. I mean, it's definitely not as good as a cat, but it's still very solid food scaling. There's a squirrel that I'm looking for. I believe, did I use both the alpaca triggers? I think I might have, and uh, there's another squirrel. Sadly, the squirrels don't give more than a zero food gold. You can't go into the negatives with squirrel, so that's why I need sauropods instead. That would probably make Squirrel 2 OP. Imagine like two level three squirrels and you get three gold back for uh, the food you buy in shop. Like double squirrels already really good, so that would be way too good. Okay, so some discounted cheese, which is kind of interesting because cheese isn't the best food, but it's not the worst either. It's right there in the middle, and I decided to pass it. That's actually surprising. I thought I would have taken those cheese, like cheese on alpaca, cheese on sauropod. Certainly helpful, especially since I'm a lethal. But uh, the good news is that chocolate is literally free. I get three gold back. Um, there's a cat, so there we go. Kind of finishing off the food build here. Getting level two cat, have level three sauropod, have level two and two thirds seal, so just need one more chocolate. And why not finish off with a strawberry for a free pizza, pretty much? It's not really free because I paid three gold for it, so that doesn't really make sense. I'm trying to think of how I want to position here. Do I want to put like a bumper in between to maybe pop like a melon armor or something? Just go with the strongest attack first and hoping to not lose. A lot of teams I could lose to here. Luckily run into a fair league week one so I can continue playing the game, which is perfect. That's what I want to do. 
and the stats are super uneven on this seal because I brought uh, bought that broccoli. Okay, a cow. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the level 2 cow, which is a little disappointing because I don't want to sell anything on the team. But at least I'll still be able to buy this cow with level 2 cat, level 2 and 2 thirds seal, plus the sauropod. The milk does activate the sauropod ability, so you get the 3 gold back. Um, I spent all 3 of the triggers, though. Take another sauropod. Why not? And now it's just like... I'm getting four gold back once again. I guess I was already getting four gold back, and I've already hit the 50 health cap. A bit unfortunate. I can uneven the stats here with the plus nine, minus three fried shrimp. Kind of strange. If I buy a fried shrimp and then buy a broccoli, it evens out to what? Uh, plus two, plus two. So six gold for a pair. Not quite very efficient. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of the food bill I'm going for. Just need to level up the seal to level 3. Like, level 3 cat won't even do that much at this point. And then an elephant blowfish team with a stegosaurus leopard. So that was actually surprisingly close. But do manage to win that one. Soft ice. Sure, guaranteed to hit the seal. Plus 3 attack to everything. Not bad. And then you can see the gold amounts just flying up. 18 gold already. Um, and the seal's already 50-50 because of the cat. So I was like, wait a second. Do I, I guess I don't chicken leg the seal. It feels weird to buy food onto something else besides seal, but it, I guess it has to happen. And then level 3 seal, completely unnecessary, but you know what? Just for the thumbnail and for the satisfaction of having all those level 3s, seeing that bar just fully full, uh, that's a bit repetitive, but yeah, just uh, it's very satisfying, so why not? Have to go for it. I don't think I want to sell the sauropod for another cow. Instead, I'm just going to roll. I sell a lot of cows, though. Double soft ice interesting not really what i was looking for i mean it does kind of help out the team gives plus three attack to everything so 15 stats and then also plus six plus six pretty solid uh but reaching 50 50s on pretty much everything already so buying food here not quite as satisfying and then more double soft ice how many soft ice have i seen in this run not that i'm like really complaining it's a pretty solid food with seal just guaranteed the hits like, if you think about just pure stats-wise, Soft Ice gives plus 5, uh, with, but it's all in attack. If you buy a pair for the seal, which is also a guaranteed hit, it's only 4 stats, and then you get whatever the seal is also giving. So, kind of interesting. I guess it is more efficient than a pair, but not more efficient than a chicken leg. That is 6 stats. And what do I want to do here? I got chicken leg. Okay, just trying to go for a 50-50. Turns out it was only a 50-49. So, a little bit short of all 50-50s, but turn 16, love to see it. Four level 3s and run into this uh, skunk team, but luckily their back team was pretty weak. And there we go. Turn 16 wins, so many level 3s, such a great food build. Thanks for watching, see ya.